In just a few months, there will be a new way to get around uh, the Twin Cities, and it should be about 20% faster than a bus. Yeah, BRT service or bus rapid transit will launch in late spring or early summer. But one of 10 new vehicles will hit the road a little early. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield was on board for a test route up Snelling Avenue. Shows us why riders may feel like they're on a train. From the outside, you may not see much of a difference, but this 30-year veteran says it is one smooth ride. At our garage, it's probably going to be going to the high seniority drivers because they're going to want to work it. Dale Patriot, captain this BRT test route. Heavier footprint. Is Charles Carlson with Metro Transit narrated. One of the ways we can speed up the service with BRT is that there's not compulsory stopping. And aside from pickups, the only time this bus will even stop is if you press this button. Stop requesting. The route goes down Snelling from the Rosedale Mall to the 46th Street light rail stop in Minneapolis. It is 20% faster than a bus. BRT signals to approaching traffic lights that it's coming. Loading and unloading is faster too because of wider entryways. And there won't be that fumbling for change. They've got to go through their purse or, you know, get out their wallet or something like that. With this, there's none of that. Because there will be pay ahead stations like the light rail. Also like the light rail, the seats are designed of steel. It's the structure of a train with the agility of a bus. I think it'll make things a lot easier for the customers and a lot easier for the drivers also. And as the man at the helm of this BRT goes full steam ahead, he asks that you slow down to wave. Oh yes, it makes the job much more enjoyable when you do. Well, it costs about $500,000 to build these vehicles. That's about 6 to 8 percent more than the cost of a standard bus. The next planned BRT route, that is going to be from the Brooklyn Center area on Penn Avenue. That's going to go all the way to downtown Minneapolis. Okay. Now, we heard in your story, in your report, that they can signal the BRT to the traffic light. Does that mean that the traffic light will then turn green automatically as it approaches? Or? Yeah, that's a little bit confusing there. Not quite. That's how the light rail works. As it approaches, is the train tells the light to turn. It turns right away, but the BRT, the bus is going to ask the light to turn green. So the light might not turn right away, but it's still supposed to save time. All right. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Susan Elizabeth.